think K-pop itself right now is the global trend. A lot of people are recognize the, recognizing the genre. They're um, actually accepting the part of the culture. And I think it's part of the uh, Korean culture that people uh, are becoming more uh, comprehensive of. So they're understanding the Korean way, which is like, uh, I guess if you kind of compare the music scenes with the Western world, um, if, when you think about K-pop, you always think of like this perfect sound production. You think about perfect style. Uh, aesthetics are always amazing. And um, when you look at, the, uh, that's when people first get into K-pop, you know, the per perfect visuals and sound production. But uh, what makes the people stay for more, is, I think, is just the uh, attitude and characteristic, which is more of like, when you see K-pop stars online or on the media or during their concerts, they're very polite and sweet. You know, they have this very well-mannered uh, type of feeling that people like, and they always try to communicate with the fans. And this creates like this big fandom culture, which makes the fans more attracted to the K-pop stars and idols. It's like they feel like they're actually talking directly to yeah. them, with them. It's the like engagement with the fan. Yeah, and engagement, yeah. The when you break down like why BTS was so successful is because of their fandom and their engagement. And that's like sort of became a culture. Yeah. yeah. And I heard from some podcasts that uh, uh, one, one podcast from JYP, he's one of the leading CEOs of a record label in Korea. He said that the fandom culture actually enjoys growing together with the artist. Mm -hmm. So that it's like a journey together. So when they support an artist, uh, support a K-pop group, they become global, they become recognized by others. I think um, the fans also feel very much of their own, like it's their own journey. So and, and, and also I could imagine like when, when the fans are growing and they're evolving into just themselves, it's almost as if the music is speaking to them and in their growth, it's like, it's like the artists are speaking and singing directly yeah, to them. <laughs> yeah, so I think um, a lot of the global fans are understanding that culture and they're actually very uh, drawn to it because it's a different experience, you know, other than just going to concerts and looking at music videos. It's, I think, more of a chance for them to experience the artist's journey on their way to success. And I think that's what's more of what you call the trend. Um, yeah. It's the fandom culture, I guess, and the Korean culture itself. Maybe that's you know, a good point. Just to give some, you know, just to give them some insights, it was 15 years ago, more on the business side of things, right? So in Western countries, it will be underground, then it street underground, street cred, then above ground, pop music, right? For Korea, it was the other way around. It was, it was K-pop 15 years ago. These kids were bred, you know, since they were kids bred, house trained to be perfect, right? So it was K-pop. And now there's a, there's a K-pop scene, and then now, now there's a there's a brooding underground scene, which is you guys, right? So it was K-pop, and then underground scene. Before yeah. it was Western countries will be like underground scene, street cred, and then above ground pop. You know, and that's what I cannot explain how this is. Uh, very, it's very special. It's sort of peculiar, yeah. It's, it's, it's special, peculiar, because it's it started pop and then underground scene, right? So just some insights about, you know, this. And also in the business side of things, um, the business side of things is these big companies, you know, YG Entertainment and all that, they were there plus the government are there to support the artists. It's, that's, that's also unique. When the government supporting the artists and made it a global phenomenon, made it a global, uh, I would say, product, Sorry, it became a global product and it became a, phen a, a phenomenon uh, worldwide. Government supports, corporate supports, and the people supported. It 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 it, it broke um, language barriers. It broke fashion, music, dancing, health, makeup. You know, so that's you know that's what you get when. Corporate, government, people support. In other countries, it's not like this. You know, it's not. It's different. You know. It's definitely like collaborative teamwork, right? Because, like you said, yeah, definitely. On the K-pop, it has a lot to do with like fashion and the post-production. 
the choreography, like the companies. Without that, like it's gonna, of course, fans. It's yeah, all like yeah, layers of, course, of yeah. sandwiches. 